Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail the gun shop. Now, uh, first of all, uh, in order to get this gun shop, uh, it's named Guns, and so you can just search that up and find that there. Alright, so here I've got um, pretty much most of the, the items that you'll actually need to decorate this shop. Um, so let's start with the ones over here. These are the generally the most common ones you see. Uh, pretty much all the crates. Crate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I don't know why they're numbered that way. It doesn't really make sense, but I guess it was the order they were created. But pretty much uh, these two crates are usually just placed around. And I'll be you know, maybe making maybe two versions because there are generally two types. One that uses a lot of these crates and the others that use like tables, wardrobes, and shelves and that sort of thing. So besides that, we've got wardrobes. These are generally used uh, just as decoration there. Also, tables are an option. Not generally used. Uh, also, wood pallets. Usually you see one or two of those leaning up against a wall or something. A register, a clock. Those are just basic decoration stuff. Chairs, possibly for behind the counter if you want you know, there a chair to be there or at one of the tables. And then also these two shelf types. Now, I did leave out shelf number two because... I don't know, it doesn't really make sense to be inside a gun shop. It doesn't look quite right. So let us get started with the detailing. So, you know, as I said before, because this is pretty quick, I'm going to make two versions of this gun shop because there are generally two main versions. And because there's limited space in here, because it's, it's really not that large, I won't be able to combine them both into one gun shop. So I'm going to have to do them both separately. So to start off, probably a good thing to do is to decide where you want your register. And, you know, I'm going to have that right by the front door. You can put it wherever, really. And also, you should probably decide if you want to have one or two. It really doesn't make that much of a difference, but, you know, you got to decide these things. I'm also going to place this pallet. I will place it right here by the wall. And guys, the best way to set these things up is generally get it in the orientation you want it, and then start messing with how it rotates this way. And then once you've got generally the angle, actually that's probably too steep. Once you've got the angle you want, line it up to the wall, and then just move it up. And that should get you a pretty, pretty nicely uh, arranged wood pallet there. So um, this is going to be the one with all the crates. So pretty much the way these ones generally work is you just put crates here and there and you just sort of randomize them a bit. Um, let's put the large ones in the corners. And then after you put the crates down, you're going to put those other type of crates, the ones that hold the guns, you'll put those on top of them. Also, you guys don't have to make it as you know straight and lined up. Obviously, you can rotate them a bit to make it look more natural. Let's place those smaller ones around the base of the larger ones and detail this do it as fast as possible without putting too much detail because obviously you guys can you guys can mostly figure this thing out it's not that hard okay so we've got general crates actually that one's probably in the way too much so I shall put that one over there so we got the ch crates placed around. Uh, another thing you can do is place these things on the crates. So I'm just going to use the tan one. Uh, it really depends on your map whether you use the tan or green. Generally for like desert maps or something like that, you're going to use the tan ones. And for uh, a forest map or you know more of a living green natural map, you're going to put the green ones. So it really just depends. And then the way you arrange these is pretty much up to you. Um, you know, you can do similar something similar to the wood pallet and like lean them up against, you know, the the crates. Or I mean, it really just depends what you want to do. I mean, lots of times people just scatter these about and they put maybe some tactical spawns, something tactical items like a laser pointer, something like that on them. These ones they usually put sort of weapons maybe uh, like shotgun or maple strike or something like that and also if you guys are having trouble filling the space feel free to just put a, war a wardrobe right in there nice thing about these is that they take up a lot of room and you can just put a couple things inside them and it looks really nice so 
I mean, this is a pretty basic setup. It looks pretty decent, though. Um, it's not using that many items, and it fills up the space nicely, and you have plenty of area to scatter guns and gun parts and ammo all over the place. So, let's move on to the next one. This one is going to be featuring a table. I'm probably going to use just a wooden table for now. And I'm going to put it right here because it's not too far in the way. And it sort of leaves this space back here open for other stuff. Now I'm going to take advantage of the scale tool and maybe widen it out a little bit, not too much, so it doesn't look awkward. It does look a little weird just because of the legs are a little stretched, but that'll be alright. And this, I'll probably put, you know, I could put like a lamp on there. This is sort of an unusual uh, stylization. I've not really seen it this way, but this sort of makes sense to me. And pretty much what this table would be used for is pretty much to repair or work on guns. Or like load it with ammo, something like that. So you could put like gun spawns on here, tactical spawns, gun parts sort of things, you know, scopes, barrels, stuff like that. Or like ammo on there as well. So, let's see, for the back, I'm probably going to use, I'll put this shelf back here, right in the corner. That would definitely be better for less of guns, but more of the parts as well. So, more like um, scopes and barrels and grips and stuff like that, just because it seems like it would be a little weird to fit a large gun inside there. I am going to also move the register over a little bit because uh, this sort of blocks a little bit of that area. Now I'm also going to put chairs for the people to sit down on uh, that are at the register just to show you guys what that sort of looks like and I'm sort of going to put this one in the corner so it's not like directly lined up with the register but it's sort of understood that it could be used for the register and I'll put this one more in front. The reason I did that is so you don't leave an awkward corner there and now you've got a lot of uh, maneuvering space in here so that you know when you go in there as a player you don't get like trapped by a zombie or something like that okay let's put the wardrobe in because this is always a classic and then I'm probably gonna use the rest of the space up with shelves so as you guys can see I'm not using as many crates for this one and you know that's just a matter of preference of course you can combine both of these styles it really doesn't matter it's about your preference and pretty much just using up the space nicely and having enough room for good item drops. So I'm going to put these shelves along the back, maybe find a nice gap in between them that doesn't look too awkward. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I could just leave it like that. That little area looks a little awkward. Um, one or two things I could do is put another chair back there. Uh, that would definitely work. It would fill up the space nicely. You could even put like a handgun spawn on there or like some ammo spawns. Uh, I could put another uh, shelf down. It would get pretty tight uh, right against this other shelf. Um, I could put a wood pallet. Or, let's see, one thing I haven't placed down yet is these boxes. So, that's what I'll do right here in this area. I will put down one of those boxes. And I'll place a few more of these as well. And I'm actually going to place this one on top of it to sort of get that stacked feel. That's something people also do quite a lot. And, you know, it works pretty well. It looks pretty nice. So I am just going to place a few more of these boxes around to sort of stylize it. Um, I'm going to place this one right in between leaned up. Generally, having them leaned up is kind of is nice. It looks pretty good. Makes it seem pretty natural. All right, so that looks pretty good, guys. Um, you know, there's, there's not much more you can do. Uh, I'll probably put a clock in here just as I remember. And of course guys, in terms of, de uh, in terms of placing item spawns, there's not much you need to know besides um, obviously think about whether the item will fit in that spot when it spawns in. So for example, you could put weapon spawns down there, or you could put like a maple strike on here, but I mean that's not really enough room to fit a maple strike, so maybe put something more like ammo for a gun, like ace clip, Colt clip or a Colt itself, put something more like that on the chair instead of like an Eagle Fire which will sort of hang off the chair and look out of place. So besides that, yeah, just guys, just fill this area up with uh, good stuff. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for the Sun Turn Map Editor tutorial. 
hopefully you guys learned as much as you really needed to know about how to decorate these things. I did sort of show you two different style styles, but feel free to combine them however you think is going to look the best, because, you know, really there's no one way of doing this. So anyway, guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.